Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Today on General Hospital, Sam learns why Jason turned informant. Finn flips out as he returns to work and Maxi has a warning from Lena. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. On GH Today, Carly finds Jason in the back of Corintha's coffee and tells him he may want to check in on Drew. She feels like there's distance between them because of her. Drew broke up with her because Jason came back but said he was great at Willow's party. Jason should have come so he could have heard. Drew is running for Congress. Ugh, I think Drew would make a good congressman. Jason shrugs, but Carly thinks it'll mean public scrutiny. And not just for Drew. They'll dig up everything on him, on the quarter mains on Jason. Can you really afford that kind of attention? He may not care what people say about him, but his family might. Jason lost so much of his life and he hasn't gotten it back even now. What was so important that was worth losing all that time? He has an important job he has to do, but once it's finished, he's taking his life back. She hopes Drew's campaign doesn't get in the way of that. If the media does come after Jason, she will do everything she can to defend him. They hug and part ways. Terry asks Liz if she wants to take a break and grab coffee, but Elizabeth says she doesn't have time for a break. Don't call the break, call the meeting. She wants to talk to Liz about Finn. They sit down and Terry asks how Liz and the boys are. They're hurt and confused, but they love Finn. So does Liz. She can't just be angry and write him off. He's sick and needs help. Terry agrees. Nobody can force Finn to get help. He needs to want that himself. Liz worries about her boys and Violet. Finn tries assuring Violet that she'll have fun at the pool, but she counters that a take your daughter to work day would be more fun. She wants to go to the pool, but she doesn't want to leave her dad alone. He loved to spend time with her, but he's got so many patients waiting for him at work, he'll be busy. She should just have fun and he'll be fine. Georgie knocks on the door and collects Violet and she and her dad hug by. After he sadly watches her go, he hits the liquor cabinet while eyeing up his hospital ID. Skipping the drink, the booze goes back and he heads out to work. He arrives at the hospital and tells Liz he's coming back to work and doesn't want anything to be strained and awkward. They have to work together and that's it, she doesn't have to do anything for him. But Liz says she still loves him and their family, then leaves when Finn assures him Violet is at the pool with Maxie. Portia comes over and as he's thanking her for time off, she says she and Terry want a word with him. In Terry's office, they let him know they cleared his candor for the day to go over his responsibilities at the hospital. But when he pushes about what the meeting is about, Portia responds with two words, you're drinking. He says he's never been impaired at work. Everyone drinks, they drink. But he has a history of addiction, they say. He can work if he attends AA meetings and agrees to practice under supervision. It's that, or they take it to the board and he could lose his license. He snaps at them that they only have jobs because he saved the hospital. It was going under until he signed over his patent. They'd be nowhere without him. They tell him that's why they're giving him this opportunity to stay on. That, and they're his friends. He flips out that they're being the opposite of friends. And he quits. He storms out. Mac and Felicia are getting frisky on the couch, though she worries about someone bursting in, like Spinelli. But Mac says he's got something covered to do, so they're fine. They talk a bit about where he was with Frisco. They talk a bit about abandoning Maxie and Georgie and Frisco being grateful for Mac raising the girls and loving Felicia. Felicia says how much she loves and appreciates Mac for all the years of being there with them and building a family. They kiss again, only to be brought up short when Anna and Robert knock. They burst in, sharing big hugs with Mac and welcoming him home. They catch up, talking about Anna's commissioner job and Jagger slash John. He's given her a ton of trouble and Max suggests he can talk to him. They go way back. Anna gets a text and says she has to run off, but says he's still the chief of detectives and she expects him back at work. Sam, meanwhile, meets up with Spinelli to find out what he found on Jason and to make sure they don't get caught for digging in the FBI. It's fine, he tells her, I found our prize, but now we have a new problem. Spinelli says the FBI files are accessible, but not changeable. They can see it, but not doing anything with it. Ok, then play it. Sam says of the audio file, if they know what they're dealing with, they can neutralize it. After they listen to the recording, Spinelli's relieved that they know why he turned information. He did it out of love. Sam's not amused. He did it for Carly. 
He put her welfare above everyone else, including his own children. Of course, because Carly always comes first for him. Spinelli tries defending Jason, but Sam tells him that there's no nobility in abandoning his kids for protecting someone from a life she chose. She then tells Spinelli to make a copy of the recording. Why? Just do it. He gets it but asks to hold off before they do anything with it. Sam says she's going to do the one thing a good mother can do. Protect my children at all costs, no matter what it takes. Over at the pool, Trina shows up and tells Josh she wants to soak up some sun while she works. Gio stops James, Violet and Georgie from running, telling James if he follows all the rules, they might get a treat later. Maxie comes over and puts sunscreen on her son as Nina comes over to talk to her nephew. He runs off and Maxie lets Nina know she handled all of Natalia's demands for Blaze. Nina's perfectly happy with that. She's still walking on air after going to Willow's party. Sure, she made up an excuse to crash it, but Willow could have asked her to leave if she really wanted. Maxie warns Nina about manipulating Willow into moving faster than she wants. Nina says now she has Drew on her side, so it's fine. Willow thinks he walks on water. Fine, Maxie says, but that could change if Willow finds out they're having a secret affair. Nina's got it handled. Willow was thrilled about his congressional bid, so she'll make sure he gets it and everyone will win. Jocelyn goes over to Gio while she's on her break and asks how he got in trouble with Trina. It was just a misunderstanding, he assures her, it's fine. Joss says Trina's been going through a lot and tells him about Spencer's death. Her boyfriend died unexpectedly in February. He promises to tread carefully but notices she's distracted. He looks over and sees Dex in uniform. He in turn wanders over and Joss marvels at him in uniform. Trina and Gio run off to check on towels. In the show's final moments, Finn confronts Liz asking, Are you happy now? She turned him in and turned everyone against him. Yeah, she did because his drinking is threatening him and everyone in his life. He growls at her that she doesn't know him or his daughter. I thought I knew you, but I was wrong. Stay away from Violet. Stay away from me. He turns his back and storms off. Hio asks Trina about Joss and Dex and she says they had a pretty traumatic breakup. She just wants to give them room until they figure things out. He likes that she cares about her friends as much as they care about her. He smiles and walks off. On the other side of the pool, Dex asks Jostin for help. He could use some pointers for the department's volleyball game. She'd leave him a few pointers if he helps her and Trina with the move. Deal. Portia reassures Liz that she did the right thing. That much was obvious with how he behaved in the meeting. Liz is just worried about what's going to happen when he realizes how much trouble he's in. And what this is costing Violet. Maxie, meanwhile, arrives home with the kids and Violet in tow. They ask if Violet can stay over, but she says her dad won't let her. Maxie says to do another night. Finn arrives home, breathing heavy and shaken, and heads straight for the bottle. He pours a glass, downs it, and pours another.